Hi guys, welcome to In 5 Minutes. Today we will be understanding the Linux operating system. What you are looking at is the architecture of Linux operating system. Let's understand Linux is a continuation work of Unix itself. It's a slight new flavors and added some new functionality. So Unix extended itself to a Linux, you can say. In the current architecture, as you guys can see, we have three basic layers to work with. That is AUI, API, and the kernel layer. This is architecture of complete operating system. Here the AUI means application user interface. Basically, this is responsible for allowing development and integration of user application to the Linux OS. So it provides platform, it provides user to build their own command, own programs, own operations, and then finally use it with the Linux system itself. So it has various compilers, word processor, and X-based GUI. By saying X-based GUI, we are talking about GUIs which may belong to some different OS or may be different virtualization softwares. So basically that's XGUI which we talk about. Then there is a Linux chain basically talking about various commands which are used for processing, compiling, integrating and linking. Finally, these commands are part of the API that is application programming interface which is basically a language library. Depending on what you are using, various libraries would be called and operations or functions from that library will be used. The next thing going in is a system called interface basically talking about one major thing to play with the low level calls that means the high level software calls would be converted to low level system calls and which will be used by the kernel or which will allow kernel to know what to do. In diagram it is also very clear that what would be the job of kernel, kernel would be responsible for memory management, kernel will be responsible for file management and kernel itself will be responsible for the process management. That means all management activity comes under the kernel. So as I was saying the kernel itself is monolithic kernel much similar to the unix kernel itself created back in 1992 and enhanced they say that there are 12,000 programmers who worked onto it with different operations and 1200 extra features were added this is what the book says as such so then there is a bios basic io system and the computer hardware so that's Linux architecture. Let's try to go beyond. The kernel is real work is done where majority of job is done. System call is basically API which we work with an application user interface. is an interface between the kernel and the user allows user to make commands to the system and divide into text-based and graphical options. Because don't forget as I said earlier with the Unix the major feature for which Microsoft was known was the GUI whereas when it comes to Unix and Linux they adopted it but a bit later earlier they were working with the command prompt based consoles so obvious that was the one change which happened going further with reference to file management it allows creation, operation, delegation of rights and multi-user environment and with reference to process management it also deals with multitasking we will see in detail soon that how these things are going to operate and how these things going to work with. So let's go over further. With reference to memory management, divide RAM and secondary, there are two parts. Memory is a small in capacity but fast in speed and they work with the management purpose. So working with the device driver, BIOS and different device drivers are already installed. So going further, Linux file management. The file as we said in Unix is defined as a collection of bytes. They have said sequence of bytes. So hence everything are file as far as even Linux or Unix is concerned. So basically what we tend to work with is reading and writing. So Linux supports file type or five type of files to be very precise. Simple or ordinary files which is a text file or a script files directory within which you can keep various files and subdirectory symbolic link soft links where we would refer a remote location 
special funds which are nothing but the devices and named pipe for FIFO first in first out operation majorly used for data transfer over the network discussion about soft links and other things so symbolic soft links not a real file but just a link to another file allow given another name to the file without actually duplicating it shows memory basically alias is what we talk in terms of computer network where two name machine or rather two names are belonging to the same machine and its ip so next thing which we are talking about is a special file which is devices where we say we have a lot of devices coming in with reference to planets but all devices are treated as a simple file itself so going further 